The Artist and Me by Shane Pika. Vincent van Gogh is now known as an acclaimed, incomparable painter. But when he lived in France in the 1880s, he was mocked for being different. Mocked means they made fun of him. Here he is, washing his face, he's wearing his pyjama and he's opening the window. It must be morning. Let's see what happens next. In the beautiful countryside in southern France, Near the town of R long ago, I used to do an ugly thing. Who's here with the red hair? And there is a green window. And three children. One of them is throwing a rock at him. The children then are running away. I tormented someone. I was mean to him, but he wasn't just anyone. Do you know who he is? I think you guessed. Let's see. He was a crazy man. He had wild red hair and a short red beard and a dream. His dream, he told anyone who would listen, was to tell the truth by painting pictures. That made me laugh and I did it loudly. I made sure others heard me. Everyone I knew made fun of him. Is this kind to make fun of somebody? Here we have the famous painter Van Gogh and his hymns. He has an exposition, exhibition at the museum. It's written in French, so it must be in France. Somebody is holding this piece of paper. Let's see what happens next. There were many reasons to laugh. He painted awful pictures. They had bright hues that didn't match. Colors weren't supposed to go like that. They picture people who didn't look the way they ought to look. And funny flowers and shining streets and strange starry skies. It wasn't right. So now you know the reason why children are making fun of, the, of our painter. But sometimes his art made me wonder. And if I saw him sitting alone at a cafe in Arles, staring up into the distance, I would walk nearby because he sometimes propped his paintings against his table. I would make sure that no one was watching and then steal long looks at what he had done. But I kept being mean to him, in crowds of course, since that is what cowards do. So when are we mean? When there are many people around? There goes the fool, adults would say. So it's not only children who are bullying our painter. It seems adults are doing this also. A useless fool, I would, laugh, I would laugh with them. So he sees the big ones, the grown-ups, making fun of our Vincent van Gogh, and he is making fun of him also. There was proof that we were right. No one ever bought his art. He was very poor. That was not to be admired. We called him horrible names. We threw things at him. It made us almost giddy. At times, he scowled at us. Other times, he didn't care. There he is, sleeping in his bed. He kept painting. He painted every day, all the time, no matter the weather, or how he was feeling, or what we did, or said to him. I must tell the truth, he would keep repeating. He was on a mission. I wondered what my mission was. But he is crazy, I reminded myself. 
Then one day I saw him near a roadway far out in the countryside. I was alone chasing something, a rabbit perhaps, and came upon him suddenly. He was sitting before his easel with his back to me, staring out over a wheat field and crows were approaching. It seemed he hadn't seen or heard me, though I was very close to him. I should have heard him breathing, but he made no sound at all. I knew that if I moved, made so much as a tiny noise, he would turn and see me, me who had been so mean to him. I was terrified. My knees went weak. My eyes widened. I almost fell over, and for an instant, the world was bigger and brighter than it had ever been. I stared out at the landscape before him. The sky was blue, but boiling with violet. The wheat field was brown, but shimmered like gold. Everything swayed and didn't seem exactly as it should, or maybe it did. Somehow he sensed I was there. He turned and looked at me. His face was glowing. It was like the pictures I had seen of saints in churches. He knew I was, afraid, uh, I was frightened. He smiled. He stood up and walked toward me. I shrank back. He reached out and he offered me his painting. Go on, he said kindly. Take it. I refused, of course. I plucked up my courage and ran. Many years later, when I was growing old, saw that painting one more time, hanging in a famous museum in Paris. See, after so many years, when the boy is older, you see he has gray hair, Vincent van Gogh has become a famous artist, a famous painter, and his paintings were exhibited in a museum in Paris. Let's see how, how, is, he, how is the boy who turned under an old man, what, what happened to him? What did he feel about Vincent van Gogh? It is one of his many masterpieces, a treasure no money can buy. I don't laugh at him anymore. And here he ends his story. So I don't laugh at him anymore. The end.